Hello dear children, welcome to my class once again. Children, today we will be learning with a new topic and that is subject verb agreement in the grammar section. Uh, let us start with the topic subject verb agreement, right? With the name only we can understand what uh, it tells us, right? That is, uh, we can know that the agreement between what? Between a subject and a verb, right? So here we can see that the dash itself uh, makes you know what exactly subject verb agreement is all about now you cannot know exactly what it is all about but it just give you a short glance of what exactly we are going to learn today now before starting with the example portion that is with the help of the example you will be able to know what subject uh, verb agreement is all about but before starting with this example portion let us first know what exactly it means uh, children, it means that in a sentence, a verb should always agree with the number of subject in that sentence. Okay, I am repeating it again. A verb or in a sentence, the verb should agree with the number of subject in number. Okay, that is a verb should always agree with how many subject there are in a sentence. Right? For example, if I am saying that the subject is singular, then the verb which you are using should always be in the singular form. You cannot use that verb into the plural form. For example, if I say, if I am using I, right? If I am using I, that is in a singular form, it have to be am, it cannot be are, right? Now, with the help of the example, we will learn it. Uh, you will be able to know what I mean to say about this subject verb agreement. Let's start with the example portion. Uh, suppose if I say, Sudha is a confident girl, right? Sudha is a confident girl. Now here, students, you can see that Sudha is what? <coughs> Excuse me. Sudha is subject. Now this subject is in which form? Obviously in the singular form right what is the verb here is is what is is the verb here now this is also in which form in the singular form so with the help of the example i hope it is easy for you to understand what I told you that a subject should always agree with what? Should always agree with the verb. That is, if in the sentence, the verb <coughs> should always follow what? The subject or there should be a link between what? A subject and a verb and the number is a uh, important uh, factor. That is, if the subject is in the singular form, the verb should always be in what? A singular form. Now, let us know uh, one more example. I will write it here only so that it is easy for you to compare. The girls are confident of or about themselves, right? The girls are confident about themselves or of themselves. So here what we can see is girls. Girls are what? Subject and in the plural form, right? Here R is what? R is verb and this is also in which form? The plural form. So basically what I wanted to say is the verb in a sentence should always agree with the subject in 
number right so here you can see the difference here this is the first example and this is the second example what we did is here in the first example we came to know that sudha is a confident girl sudha is what sudha is singular okay because she is the only girl we are talking about in the sentence is is a verb and this form is also what this is also in the singular form here what we did instead of sudha we wrote what we wrote girls right uh, sorry i wrote <coughs> girls so the, <coughs> excuse me the girls girls itself is what it is showing that these is in which form it is in the plural form although girls is the subject right student this is a subject but this subject is in which form this subject is in the plural form so we have to what we have to mention the verb in which form the plural form here i cannot change this suppose if i change this to r and i change this r to is now read it sudha are a confident girl it the sentence itself shows that it is a what it is a wrong sentence why it is a wrong sentence because here sudha is singular but the verb which we are using is what is in the plural form but we cannot use this this is a wrong sentence if we just misplace is with what instead of uh, is we are using what are so if i if i say sudha are a confident girl it means it's totally wrong what we have to do here either ways we have to change verb that is we should use is then the sentence will be correct or in the place of sudha we have to use something which is into the plural form that is the subject should always be in the plural form i hope this is understood to you same as we did here the girls if i say the girls are is confident about themselves now the girls girls itself is showing that this is the subject in which form in the singular form now if i use the verb as is here obviously it will be wrong sentence why because the singular uh this thing subject is in the uh, plural form and this is in the uh, is in the singular form and we cannot mix up that is we cannot mix singular form with the plural form i hope this is understood to you so we have to use what we have to use are why because the girls itself is showing that this subject is in the plural form and the verb should always come in the plural form i hope this is understood to you now here let us come to this definition the verb in a sentence should always agree with the subject in number now if subject in number means what this word subject in number subject in number means what it is if the subject is singular then the verb should always be what singular in the singular form but if the subject is in what is in the plural form then the verb should always be in what in the plural form right students i hope today we learned about this right and it is clear to you in the next uh, lesson i will be explaining you more of the points of subject verb agreement with the help of the example so that it is also easy for you to understand uh, till then thank you very much and yes also go, go through with what subject verb uh, verb agreement okay uh, we will be meeting soon in the next class with what with the example section thank you and have a nice day thank you